Taiwan has begun production of a new land attack cruise missile. This new, domestically produced missile is Taiwan's attempt to close some of the military imbalance with China. Taiwanese media reported that the country's National Chengshan Institute of Science and Technology had cleared the Yunfeng cruise missile for mass production. The supersonic land attack missile has been under development since the 1990s. It can fly as far as 1,200 miles. That range could allow Taiwan to threaten many of the air bases, ports and other facilities from which China likely would stage any attempt to invade Taiwan. Taipei reportedly is building an initial 20 Yunfeng missiles as well as 10 truck-based launchers. The Philippine Marine Corps PMC, is featuring its eight newly received Korean armored amphibian vehicles at the first ever joint military exercise of the armed forces of the Philippines. It is the first time that all eight vehicles are involved in the same AFP exercise. The drills, which are known as Exercise Daggett PAO 3-19 and are being conducted across three locations at Quezon City, Zambales, and Nueva Ecija. The PMC received its second batch of 4 KAAVs in August. The vehicles are part of a 46 million US dollars contract that was signed in April 2016 between the Philippine government and South Korean company Hanwha Defense. The KAAV is derived from the AAV-7A1 armored vehicle family that is in service with operators such as the US Marines Corps and the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. Each vehicle can embark up to 25 dismounts and can be armed with a 40mm automatic grenade launcher and a 12.7mm machine gun as well as smoke grenade launchers. The Australian government has selected Hanwha and Ryan Metal to participate in the next phase of its $10.3 billion infantry fighting vehicle program, being delivered under Project Land 400 Phase 3. Hanwha's AS-21 Redback IFV, a variant of the South Korean Army's K-21 vehicle, and Ryan Metal's Lynx KF-41 will now progress to a 12-month risk mitigation activity program later this year which will test the vehicles under operational conditions. Land 400 Phase 3 will acquire up to 450 tracked IFVs to replace the Australian Army's aging M113 AS4 armoured personnel carriers. A decision on which tenderer will progress to the acquisition phase of the program will be presented to government for consideration in 2022. Phase 3 of the overarching Land 400 program follows on from the US $3.6 billion Phase 2 under which Ryan Metal is delivering 211 Boxer Wild 8x8 combat reconnaissance vehicles to replace the Australian Army's light armoured vehicles. Ryan Metal is assembling all but the first 25 Boxers at its recently established Military Vehicle Centre of Excellence at Ipswich, west of Brisbane. Local industry participation will be a key requirement for Land 400 Phase 3. Ryan Metal has indicated it will assemble the Lynx in its Ipswich facility and Hanwha announced on May 23rd that it had teamed with EOS Group and Albert Systems to develop the AS-21 and build it in Geelong, south of Melbourne. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.